What's up guys, earlier today Pod2G actually released another statement what he said in this one is I made a step today for the A5 with some luck we could expect a release in a week and he is talking about the release for the jailbreak for the iPhone 4S and iPad 2. They are both running the A5 chips and this will be the first jailbreak for the iPhone 4S. There was a jailbreak for the iPad 2 but it has been patched. So the first thing I actually want to let you guys know is yes, you can upgrade your phones to iOS 5.0.1. You're safe to do that and even Pod2G suggested that you do that. But here's the thing, Apple will soon be releasing iOS 5.0.2 or iOS 5.1. If Apple releases it, then do not upgrade because Apple is most likely going to patch Pod2G's exploit. If you're watching this video after a new iOS version is released, what you're going to do is not download that new iOS version, but instead you're going to go onto this website called Felix Burns. The link is in the description, and you're going to download iOS 5.0.1. And after you do that, you're going to hook your device up to your computer and then go on to iTunes. And in there you should see a button that says update and restore you're going to hold update and shift your shift button on your computer at the same time and you're going to find your IPSW you just download for iOS 5.0.1 and you're going to click on it open it it'll install iOS 5.0.1 on your device now that is all the news on the iPhone 4s and iPad 2 jailbreak if you're wondering when the release date is it's probably going to be sometime next week we're not sure when and that's all. If you aren't currently caught up on all the jailbreaks, then yes, A4 devices have been untethered jailbroken. That includes the iPhone 4, the iPad 1, the iPod Touch 4th Gen, and etc. That means you're going to be able to boot up your device without having to hook it up to the computer every time. If you want a guide on how to um, untether jailbreak your A4 device, then refer to the annotation on the screen currently right now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. You can expect a guide on how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 when the jailbreak is released. I don't have an iPhone 4S, but I can manage to show you guys anyways. And remember to subscribe and like the video and have, um, put a comment down there if you have any questions. And I'll see you in the next one.